Hey folks, Steve here. How you doing? Hey, got a question for you. Are you a memorization kind of contractor or are you a list maker and got to write it down contractor? Hmm? Well, I'll tell you what. I am a I got to write it down contractor. If I write it, if I take a measurement, I got to write it down. And I was challenged on that. I uh, working over the summer had a crew. Uh, I was uh, basically a three-way partnership if you will. And the veteran guy on our team, uh, about six years older than me, old school, didn't even yell, he, didn't even, actually it didn't even start with me this time. We're at, we're kind of on, we're, we're at lunch, we're sitting on the customer's back porch area uh, where, you know, we were able to hang out eating pizza, whatever we're doing. And it was earlier that day that the other guy on our team, the young guy, you know, the 30 plus whatever guy, so he has a, he has like a steno pad, you know, one of those five by seven pads. And he's doing something, he starts writing some measurements down. And Carl says, hey, Kyle, what are you doing? Don't write that stuff down, just memorize it. Go make your cuts, do whatever. And I chimed in, say, hey, I write stuff down all the time. And so I think Kyle just finished what he was doing and just kind of shook his head and smiled, went out, looked at his list, made his cuts, did whatever. Later in the morning, lunch hits, we're all out on that porch eating our pizza. And then, without being prompted, Carl chimes in again about, uh, about writing stuff down as opposed to memorizing. And if you continue to write things down, you'll never exercise the, the memorization skills and such. And it was funny. I, I just said, look, Carl. I've written stuff down the whole time. I will continue to write things down when I write. You know, if I'm taking only one measurement and I'm heading right to the saw, I can get distracted, forget what the measurement is. Was it three eighths? Was it five eighths? And have to go back and measure. Inefficient. And if I have more than two or three measurements, I am guaranteed I'm going to goof something up. So I got to write it down. I got to write it down. Let me show you. So let me show you a sampling of these notebooks that I carry around. Like for instance, in my back pocket right now, I've been I've become a big fan of these all weather ones. So what do I have in here? This is just a couple of random ones I pulled. All right, so there's a number of measurements. To include, I use as much of the paper as I can. I believe I was doing sheathing that day. Some more measurements and some notes. I was actually trying to figure out how to build something at that point. Odd number of pieces, exaggerating trapezoids that I had to cut. Here again, other pieces, measurements. when I was doing the slats for that jig. This looks like a crown job that I did and showing butt cuts, outside miters, outside miter, butt, cope, cope, that's a double cope, butt, outside miter, outside miter, butt, so on and so forth. And then this would have been sitting at the saw when I made those cuts. Just a sec, one in my pocket. Carl's of the mind that, hey, memorize it. And there certainly are a lot of people out there I know that do that. But Kyle and me, we are guys that write that stuff down so we don't forget going from this, you know, the measurement to the saw. However, I do know that Carl's been out at the saw and has shouted back in on the job site, what was that measurement again? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless that guy's heart. Just love him. So anyway, he was uh, kind of give us the, giving us the third degree on that. And I told him, he said, look, you know, I struggled in I struggled with algebra in high school. One, I didn't do any homework. So never practicing it, that would be rise for struggle. And also, I have always done better, say, with letters than numbers. I teach physics right now and have done so for a number of years. Physics, there's a lot of math and physics. And I teach chemistry, and there's a lot of math there too. And I'll, and I tell the kids that I teach, I'm going to show you with the variables, with the letters. You know, V for velocity, X for position, whatever it is. I'll show you with the letters, and I will rearrange this formula, get the letters all where they need to be so it solves for, say, you know, the velocity, speed. And then I grab the numbers, and I plug them in where they need to go, and it's called a plug and chug at that point. I've noticed that about myself over a whole bunch of years now that, uh, you know, numbers are just not something that I can memorize very easily. And I told him that. He didn't know any of that. So I told him that. I said, here. It's not about not wanting to memorize stuff. It's about making sure that I don't forget the cuts are all good. I'm efficient, and the fact is that a string of numbers, I'm not gonna rem I'm not gonna remember them anyway. I don't know why Kyle writes those numbers down. It may just be his habit, and he may have something like I've got going on too. So, you know, <laughs> do you memorize or do you actually write it all down? I write it all down.
Oh, um, actually, in that same discussion, I think my my track saw got criticized. My track saw, my Dewalt track saw, got criticized. And I think the uh, the question came up as, well, if you continue to use things like track saws, then you know you're going to lose the ability to grab a circular saw and cut a straight line. I'm sorry, what? So maybe we should all go back to hand tools, you know, 150 years ago, because I'm sure those guys said, you know, you're going to forget how to use that, you know, that hand saw. If, uh, you know, if you start using that one, you plug into the wall all the time. And, well, you know, I've got the tool. It's not going away. And, honestly, I don't think I'm going to uh, forget how to cut a straight line. But, you know, it was, it was an argument, and then I just, we laughed it off. But, oh, my goodness gracious. I'm a Luddite. Luddite? I'm a Luddite, but, wow. It's a, a tool Luddite, I guess. But he uses my track saw, I have noticed. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, and this is all in fun. I just happen to know the difference of two kinds of people, those that can memorize it and those that have to write it down. Got to write it down. Interesting what you do and why you do it. Why don't you respond in the comments why you are liking and subscribing. Push that button now. Push it. Push it. All right. <laughs> I'm having a good time here. Okay, well, hey, you all take care, and it'll be really interesting to see any comments that uh, this generates as far as who does what and why. And I told you, I think there's probably a little bit of a learning difficulty in there as far as numbers or whatever. And so that's why I do what I do. And I believe it makes me more efficient because I forget less. And when I'm out at the saw, I'm not making those mistakes. And I'm not having to call back into the job saying, hey, what was that measurement again? Oddly enough, when he yells at me, I typically remember that measurement. It's really weird. And that measurement might have been from like a half hour ago. And we're just now repeating the cut for the other side of the room. Weird, weird. Oh, well. Y'all take care. Have a good one, because I know you liked and subscribed. I'm going to have a good one, too. Ah, have a good one. Take care.